Rates are at zero. Spreads are tight. The new issue market is humming. There's not a lot of distress, almost no forced sellers. Plus, the election uncertainty has been lifted and there's progress on a vaccine. How is anybody in your business supposed to make money under those conditions? So there is a spectrum of value opportunities. And credit is an asset class like equities, like real estate, like venture, like growth that all have a range of value offered to investors at certain points in time. So there's no doubt, certainly with the benefit of hindsight, and you and I spoke back a few months ago in the midst of it, you know, we talked at that point about the extraordinary value that was present in the market and, and our firm taking very substantial action to seize on that opportunity. Right, but then poof, it was gone. Well, it's not poof because COVID didn't go away. And COVID is not yet gone, even if there's progress on the vaccine. When you shock a system, when you shut down businesses for months or travel related sectors where travel might be down 80, 50 to 80 percent, those businesses, the marginal customer adds so much incremental profitability that the damage is deeper. The need for liquidity is greater. And while I will certainly tell you that in most sectors, there's been a major recovery, that there's still value in segments of the market. I'll also say that even when we get through COVID, which I believe we will and certainly hope and pray that we do, credit as an asset class below investment grade credit has a place in people's investment portfolios there are segments in the below investment grade credit market like leverage loans and high yield, where I do believe you can generate four, five, six, seven percent. I do believe there are segments in the private credit market, both in terms of liquidity financing and in terms of financing and new deals, where you can make eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I do believe that you can play for shorter term in COVID sectors, notwithstanding the fact that you don't want to go there but shorter term liquidity provision where you can make 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And I believe that when you take leadership roles in distressed and you convert debt to equity, you've now become, given, your chance, given yourself a chance to make 15 plus percent returns. And so, you know, again, from my perspective, if I and we spend an enormous amount of time with some of the largest investors in the world, asset allocation is incredibly important and while, yes, there is a, the more demand you have for an asset class, the tighter, the, re, the lower the returns are going to come. Don't forget, there's been an explosion in the private equity market because people are seeking to make double digit returns to throw into that mix of assets. And so the market is growing at the same time the demand is increasing. It's a bit circular, but I think there's still opportunity.